Let's do a calculation where we calculate the entropy change for a phase change. In this case, the freezing of water at zero degrees C. We'll take 10 grams of water, allow it to freeze. What's the entropy change? Well, we know there's various ways to calculate entropy changes. We've seen the statistical method. We've seen the thermodynamic method. If there's a temperature change, also a thermodynamic method, and using molar entropies. So if we can count the microstates, we can use this method. But it's often difficult in any real system to count the microstates. So the thermodynamic methods are often much better. And if you can imagine a reversible path, or if you can calculate an enthalpy, which is independent of path, you can use the heat evolved over the temperature. If you know the heat capacity and there's a temperature change, you can use this formula. Or if you find some data, standard molar entropies for your product and reactants, you can use this equation. In this case, what we have is <clears throat> a easily calculatable enthalpy change for this reaction at a constant temperature, the melting point or the freezing point. So I choose the middle, react, the middle equation here, the reversible heat over the temperature change. So let's just do that. The heat evolved at a constant temperature for the freezing can be calculated by the enthalpy of fusion over the melting point. So here's the heating curve for water. And recall when water melted, or in this case we're going to freeze it, so we're going to go this direction, you would evolve for freezing, give off six kilojoules per mole of water. So freezing requires a release of heat. So freezing is endothermic. So we can take that six kilojoules per mole over the freezing point, 273. And now I'm going to use positive six kilojoules per mole because this is evolved. This is a positive heat. And I find that that's 22 joules per Kelvin mole of water. But we're not talking about a mole of water. We're talking about just 10 grams of water. So let's take that molar value and use the molar mass of water and the fact that we have 10 grams to find out how much entropy change there is for 10 grams of water freezing. And that's 12 joules per Kelvin to freeze 10 grams of water at its freezing point.